Borderlands 4 has just been released, and uh, yeah, it doesn't run too well. Either way, you clicked on this video because you wanted to optimize settings, so let's get into it. All right, so real quick before we get into the game, find Borderlands 4 where it's installed, right click, properties, and then come to the launch options and type in dash, no startup movies. This is just going to help skip all of those annoying intros every time you launch the game so you can get into the game quicker. And now we'll go into the game's graphic settings and I'll show you the optimized settings. Okay, so once you're in the game, come to the visuals tab and click basic. First thing is going to be display mode. This is going to be your preference, but I like playing at window to full screen. However, if you want access to more resolutions in this drop-down window, you'll have to play in full screen and then you can click this and choose your resolution. Otherwise, keep windowed full screen if you like all tabbing out of the game. Uh, display stats is just going to be this little thing up here. I have it on FPS. However, you can keep it on all, which will show you the GPU time and the ping as well. Limit frame rate is going to be just an FPS limiter. And I highly encourage you guys to find uh, your average FPS value and lock it in here because I know for a lot of you or most of you, this game is not going to reach your monitor's refresh rate target. Could be 144, could be 240. So find your average FPS in here. It's just going to give you better frame pacing, lower latency, and yeah, it's just going to be a better experience with a frame limiter. Uh, vertical sync is going to be off in game. If you have to use vertical sync, use it with G Sync in the NVIDIA control panel to remove screen tearing. Field of view is going to be personal preference then click advanced. Now ignore this low preset because I have everything set in here. The first thing we're going to look at is upscaling method. My preferred upscaler is going to be DLSS transformer model at performance. Performance mode is going to give you the best image quality to frame rate. It's just really good. Out of all of the upscalers here, DLSS is the best. So if you have an NVIDIA card, I highly encourage you to try this out first. And for the rest of you, for on AMD and Intel, use TSR at performance. This is going to be the second best, and it's actually quite usable. Um, it doesn't have the performance cost that DLSS transformer model has, which may be 5% more. So if you really need all of that performance on a lower end PC, then experiment between TSR and DLSS. Next is going to be scene capture uh, quality. Just keep this on low. Frame generation. This is going to come down to personal preference. If you don't mind the input penalty that comes with frame generation, by all means, try it out. I don't think it's that bad in a single player game. However, if your base frame rate is lower than 60, it's going to be really rough. So experiment with this and see how it feels for you. NVIDIA Reflex, uh, keep this on, not on boost, just on, because if you keep it on boost and you're, you're really GPU bound, it's going to cut your FPS by like 10 to 20. And we don't want that. So just keep it on to cut down latency anyway. H lot loading range is going to be near. Geometry quality is going to be low. Texture quality for people who have lower than eight gigs of VRAM, you can keep this on medium. For people who have more than eight gigs of VRAM, you can keep it on high or very high. Even if you have an uh, eight gig VRAM GPU, you can experiment with high and see what kind of FPS you get. But in my experience, in like really intensive fights, I've just kept it on medium so it doesn't uh, chug with the VRAM use. Texture streaming speed is going to be medium, and isotropic filtering quality is going to be 16x. This thing does not affect your FPS ever. I think it, it, I can't tell a difference. Foliage density is going to be low. Volumetric fog is going to be low. Volumetric cloud is going to be low. Shadow quality is going to be medium. Directional shadow quality is going to be low. Volumetric shadows is going to be disabled. Lighting quality is going to be low. Reflections quality is going to be uh, medium. And shading quality is going to be medium. Now for the heaviest settings in, in the game currently, for me, it's going to be lighting quality, which uses software Lumen, which is a Unreal Engine ray tracing. This is way too heavy okay don't even think about using this unless you have a very beefy gpu this is going to kill your fps because it's, it is using software ray tracing right the other thing that's going to kill your fps is shadows and all of these volumetrics anything to do with volumetrics and shadow quality experiment with this based on your gpu but if you want the best performance and this game is already way too heavy right so you can experiment with these settings this is what i've found to be the sweet spot settings now i wish there were config files and other stuff you could tweak I'm sure as time goes on, we're going to have mods and other tweaks we can do. And for that, I might make an updated, longer, uh, more comprehensive video on how to tweak to get the most performance. But for now, for day one performance, this is just going to be the um, quick and dirty method, right? It's still going to be good, though, because I'll show you the side by side comparisons with uh, all of these optimized settings, lowest settings and ultra settings. So you can get an idea of how the performance scales. And uh, yeah, we can actually go take a look at that right now. On the left side, we have 1080p TSR with default settings. The middle is going to be the 1080p DLSS performance optimized settings I showed you earlier. And on the right, we have 1080p DLSS performance at the lowest settings. You can see that TSR default settings is hitting the VRAM pretty hard and is causing the GPU to run out of memory. So the game is going to run like a PowerPoint presentation, which is terrible. 
In comparison to the optimized settings in the middle, we managed to keep a good balance of visuals, image quality, and performance, though in really heavy CPU-bound scenarios, it can drop down to below 60 FPS. Unfortunately, the Ryzen 5600X is a 6-core CPU and is below the recommended specs, but the game is still largely playable thanks to the RTX 4060 and DLSS septic performance. And finally, for the lowest settings on the right side, this is going to be my recommendation for 90% of you because I have no idea what kind of PC parts you have, and therefore whatever gets you the most performance is usually the best choice, but feel free to experiment with the settings and uh, yeah, hopefully you're able to get the game running better. And with that, we've come to the end of the video. Like I mentioned earlier, when enough time passes and we get mods, INI tweaks, and official performance patches for the game, if this video does well, which by the way, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to help me out, I will be making a comprehensive Borderlands 4 performance guide. So stick around for that, and thanks for watching.